In this video, I'd like to show you how to create customers in Business Central. Customers are important as they are the main source of your company's revenue. The customer card or customer master file contains detailed information about the customer, the address, the credit limits, the posting accounts, and sales discounts. Inside Business Central, we'll click on the magnifying glass to search, and we'll type in customers. This will bring up the customer list here. So to create a new customer card, we'll click on a new button and we can select a template. What the template does is it pre-defaults some of the fields for you, so it makes it easier for creating a new customer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel and we're just going to look at a customer. Once the customer card is open, we can look at the first tab, which is the general. This contains general information about the customer We'll start off with the number series or the unique customer ID. There's the name of the customer, and we can set the credit limits and set an assigned salesperson to this customer. The next tab is address and contact. In this area, it contains address information of the customer. The email is important if you'd like to email customer invoices out to them. The next tab is invoicing. Under invoicing, it contains valuable information for invoicing to the customer. You can enter a tax registration number and select tax liable if it's taxable. Under the posting details, there's two sections here. One is the general business posting group. This specifies the customer's trade type to link to transactions made for this customer with the appropriate general ledger account according to a general posting setup. The next one is the customer posting group, so it specifies the customer's market type linked to the business transactions too. The next tab that we'll move into is the payments. Payments is usually used for uh, vendors more, but you can set a prepayment amount here. We'll move on to shipping. So this contains predefined values when entering a sales or an invoice, for example, the ship to code or the location. The last tab is statistics, which is both information related to customers, and we can drill down on links to gather more information. Once all this information is filled, the customer is ready to be used for transactions. This concludes how to create customers in Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions.